Hey you guys, I hope you all are doing fantastic. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I take care of my curly hair. A lot of you guys have been asking for this video and I am finally giving it to you all. So let's just jump right in. So after I get out of the shower, I put my hair towel on, which as you can see is the Diva Curl microfiber towel. And one thing I do before I get out of the shower is I rinse my hair with cold water and it really helps my curls just pop and look so beautiful and extra amazing and I just love the results I get from using cold water at the very very end. So let's jump right in and tame this main girl. So I am using the We Dad Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is incredible. I live in Texas where the humidity can be crazy sometimes and this stuff is incredible. I am just raking this from my roots to my ends. Ooh child, look at that forehead. Anyways, and I'm just making sure it's evenly distributed throughout my hair. Now sometimes what I like to do is I like to go in with my spray bottle and just add in some more water throughout my hair, which you will see me doing throughout this video a few times. Um, as you can see, I'm doing that right now. Sometimes I need my hair a little more damp. Other times, it's fine. It just really depends what is going on with my hair and what I feel it needs. So, I like to make sure that my hair isn't too, too wet, but definitely wet enough. So, I'm taking a, what's it called? What's the rat tail comb, I think? I don't know. And I like to make sure that I get a nice part in my hair. It's easier to work with. And I comb through all of that leave-in conditioner. I do this so many times throughout this video. Combing the product through your hair literally is game-changing. I cannot stress this enough. It makes a huge difference with your curls. It really helps with the definition and helps a lot with frizziness. And I just... It just, it makes such a difference. I can't stress this enough. As you can see, I go back in with water a lot to make sure that I have the right consistency with the products in my hair. So, I always make sure to spray my roots too because my roots tend to dry. I'm now using the Diva Curl Styling Cream Touchable Curl Definer. I just use a little bit and I basically do the same thing that I did with the leave-in from the roots to the ends which I do this countless times, y'all. This is nothing new. And like I said, the comb really helps. It helps make sure that all the products are evenly distributed. Another thing I want to mention is that when I am applying my cream um, and my gel, I like to apply it in sections rather than all at once. I find that that makes sure that I get the right amount of product everywhere on my head. I am now taking the Weedad Vital Curl Plus Trust Effects Styling Gel, and this stuff has been my holy grail for a couple years now. This stuff is amazing, and my nose was so itchy. I do not know why. So, I do the same thing that I did with the cream, where I go in sections and apply a little bit before applying too much. I'm sorry, you guys. Adrian is so loud right now. And I just like to make sure that it's everywhere in my hair, you know? Distribution is so important. Application. I will say this countless times in all my videos how important application is. It's crucial, you guys. You want your curls to pop, focus on your application. So as you can see, I'm going in with a little bit more and continuing to distribute. Now, the next thing I like to do is I just like to start combing my hair in a, like I just like to make sure that my hair is going in a full extraction. Um, I really hope that makes sense. I feel so illiterate right now. But this just helps when it comes to the scrunching. I'm now going in with the Vital Curl Plus Soft Defining Mousse. This stuff I've also been using for a couple years now. This stuff is my favorite. It's so good. As you can see, you literally only need a little bit. This stuff puffs up so, so, so much. So now it's time to scrunch, de scrunch, scrunch, scrunch that hair. Scrunch, scrunch, and do not stop scrunching, okay? Keep on scrunching. Scrunch that mousse into those curls. This is going to hold 
those curls, hold those locks, tame that mane. You got a scrunchy scrunch scrunch scrunch. Come on, y'all. Scrunch wing. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking some of my front pieces and using my fingers to just finger curl them. Um, this gives it a little more definition and my front pieces have a hard time curling. I'm still on my curly hair journey, so they are somewhat damaged from straightening and brushing them. Which is why I finger curl, because it just it helps give them their natural shape back and just give them that extra bounce and pizzazz that they once had in them. You gotta we gotta recover those curls, you know what I mean? So I like to just very gently sort of fluff up my roots a little bit so that when I diffuse I give my hair more of the ability to fluff up, if that makes sense. I don't really know. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see what I mean. Now I will wait 10 to 15, 20 minutes to let my hair somewhat air dry. Okay, y'all, this is about 10 minutes later. I'm using my ride or die. Y'all, I've been using this since I was seven. This is incredible, so worth the price, so bougie, but girl, it's bougie for a reason, let me tell y'all, go get you some. So my hair is damp now, um, but it's definitely on the drier side. So I'm scrunching that um, serum in, and this stuff smells so good, oh my goodness, it lasts so long, I highly recommend it, I cannot stress that enough. Y'all, it is time for my favorite part. I'm using my fancy schmancy dirty hair dryer to start blow drying my hair. I'm attaching my diffuser. If you have curly hair, you need a diffuser. I'm telling you, go get a diffuser attachment for your hair dryer. I blow dry with air on high, my heat on the lowest setting possible. I'm going into my roots to make sure that those are dry before I go into my ends. When you are diffusing the ends of your hair, make sure that you are flipping your hair. So flip it down, flip it to the side, the other side, back. Just make sure you're moving your hair when you're diffusing it. One other thing is to make sure that your hair is fully, fully dry before you start setting it. I wanted to mention that because a lot of people just start grabbing at their hair in the middle of diffusing. So one thing I do when I am diffusing my hair is I like to turn my hair dryer down to just the low cool setting, no heat at all, just to give my hair a break from the heat. I also feel around my head to see what's wet and what needs to be dried and then I go ahead and take care of that. And that, you all, is the finished product. So I usually spray a finishing spray, or sometimes I don't. It just depends on how I'm feeling. But yeah, that is how I tame my mane and take care of these curls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. I have some really fun stuff planned for you all. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, I need to stop dancing. This is getting old. <laughs> don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Bye, you guys. Mwah.